Hello. Uh, the next bear review is the Renaissance MPA. So that's Marlborough Pale Ale, and it is an Imperial IPA. Imperial India Pale Ale. Um, this beer is at 8.5% ABV, so kind of a higher uh, alcohol content, um, and the bottle is 500 mils. There it is there. Got a nice, nice bottle shape. This one. Um, I think most of the bottles are actually like this. Um, yeah, I like that. It's good luck. Um, anyway, so. Uh, We'll go with the appearance. I actually still have one in front of me. So tempting, but almost finished it. There it is there. As you can see, um, well, it's a darker sort of uh, gold orange. Um, and actually, I, I noticed this one was um, quite clear. Like you can see your fingers through the glass. Um, when I first poured it, it basically had a like a small head retention on it, um, and uh, yeah, kind of a um, kind of minimal lacing as well. Like there just wasn't much foam in there at all. Um, yeah, that was alright. Um, anyway, aroma. So we've got sort of a sweet uh, floral. Uh, a kind of hint of tropical fruit. Um, again, it was just a hint. Um, really didn't jump out and smack you in the face at all. Um, what else we got? Kind of, kind of a really tiny hint of pine in there. Um, I mean, that's sort of the only way I can describe it. Um, what else we got? Um, and and just a hint of malt. Um, didn't appear to be overly malty, although although it was, it did smell very sweet, um, which makes sense at, at a higher um, alcohol content. Um, so the taste of it, and I'm just going to have another swig just to be fresh. Yeah, yeah. Um, the first thing I noticed, it, it really did have a, a, a low um, to medium, probably probably a lower sort of carbonation to it. Don't know if it was meant to, or um, I prefer sort of something that's nicely carbonated. Say if you're drinking a 500 ml bottle, you know you want to make it last a little bit. Um, <clears throat> uh, there, there was light maltiness. Uh, it was it was quite a sweet beer, um, and again, yeah, the higher alcohol content, uh, more malt in there. Um, yeah, um, interesting though, yeah, because it was because it, it was a light malt flavour. Um, uh, what else we had? We had we had sort of a medium uh, bitterness that that lingered just a little bit, so it didn't didn't really carry on going. Um, um, uh, quite sort of sweet hops uh, that that was sort of at the front, um, uh, just the big sort of culmination of uh, of um, flavours was at the front really, and um, it sort of just faded off, and um, sort of sort of that mixed flavour at first, um, and then yeah, just sort of faded off after that. Um, didn't take too long. Um, slightly boozy, only slightly. Um, probably not the best session beer, <laughs> considering the high alcohol content, although lovely beer. Um, so, yeah, um, I mean, the verdict, although the flavour only really hits at the front and dies down, the beer was kind of smooth because of that. Um, what else? I, I mean, compared to other IPAs, that that was kind of a, 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 a smoother, sort of softer, softer beer, uh, especially hops-wise, because the hops were kind of sweet. Um, 
certainly not hard to diagnose the fact that that is an IPA. Um, uh, you know, it's obvious. Um, <coughs> uh, it seems the hops were, were certainly uh, like a, a lower alpha. Um, the, the bitterness wasn't really strong. You didn't have that sort of zingy, sort of um, kind of overpowering sort of bitterness to it. Um, just sort of medium bitterness. Ooh, gonna burp. Gonna throw up everywhere. No, I'm just burping. Um, <laughs> so, what else we got? Um, yeah, certainly. Um, yeah, the, the, the hop seems to display more of a um, body than business. Um, I wasn't quite disappointed with the beer, um, but yeah, it, it wasn't quite what I expected actually. I mean, I was sort of in my head, I was thinking, oh, there's going to be all these different hop flavors, and it's going to be quite malty, and and but, but I mean, I kind of looked past the fact that that you know it it actually talks about you know an explosion of the the coal hops. Um, it's, it's it's the main hop is is Rakal hops, um, so it's like a um, I don't know if they actually said it was a single hops beer, but it certainly appeared to be from what they were saying about it. So um, that's that's where it kind of fell down with me. But I mean that's what I brought. That's what it is. That's great. Um, apparently there's 120 hops per bottle in this one, which in my mind is just freaking huge, really. Um, I don't know, I, I guess, did they really need that many hops? Um, the the bottle was, um, I think the bottle cost about $12, and I'm assuming that's because of the hops. Um, so I'm kind of wondering, did they need that many hops, really? Um, probably, probably was quite well, uh, quite quite good at keeping infections on, on the down side, so. No, that's cool, that's cool. Um, but anyway, uh, I guess, Overall, I would probably give this beer a 7 out of 10. Yeah, yep. Not quite up there with other IPAs I've had, but um, certainly it's very tasty and, and is kind of kind of in, in a little group of its own, really. Cool.